Hello everyone, I am Vijay Gadwe and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will create the data asset and we are going to create this data asset to make the predictions in the batch endpoint. So let us go to the Azure Machine Learning Studio and do the same. In this tutorial, we will create a data asset and we are creating this data asset to make the predictions in batch endpoint. Let us begin. So here I am on the Azure Machine Learning Studio. I'll open another Azure portal here. Go to storage accounts. Here we have total three storage accounts. Let us group them together. Group by resource group. So these two storage accounts from this resource group Azure ML RG. The first account is created when we have created the workspace and the second storage account that we have created. As of now, ignore the third storage account. This belongs to another resource group. So I'll open the storage account that we have created. Then go to containers. Here we have created container, container one. Inside this container, we have created the folder data. And inside the folder, we have uploaded this file, automobile price data dot CSV. To create another data asset, I'll upload a file here. Upload. Browse for files. Select this file, test.csv. And upload. So we have successfully uploaded this file, test.csv. Edit. And preview. So this is the file. This file has 10 observations. Now we will create the data asset using this file test.csv. Go to Azure Machine Learning Studio. Then data. After that go to data stores. Earlier we have created this data store. Azure ML underscore DS02. Scroll down. This data store using same storage account. You can see the name. And same container. This is the blob container. So we don't have to create another data store. We can directly create the data asset. To create the data asset, we will use this data store Azure ML DS02. Now go to data assets. Create. First, we have to specify the name for the data asset. Testing underscore data. Let us give the description. Data asset for the predictions. For the predictions in batch endpoint type tabular next from Azure storage next select the data store Azure ML DS02 select the folder then select the data set test.csv next this is the preview of the data set. Next, keep the schema as it is. Next, these are the details under the review. The details that we specified. Now create, creating the data asset. And the data asset is created successfully. Go to data and here you can see testing data is created successfully. So this tutorial about creating the data asset for the predictions ends here. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, happy learning.